Hi, Mr. Musk. Hi. How would you further work with China? Very happy with our progress in China. It's going very well. What are your expectations for China-U.S. relations next? Uh, I hope for the best. I hope uh, uh, China and the United States can work together for mutual prosperity of the world. What would you like to say to the president tonight? I'm just I'm looking forward to, to meeting. We met once briefly. I look forward to being again. The president of China told Elon Musk that he supports Tesla's development in China, according to a statement from Tesla's Weibo account today. So that's good. I translated this with Google Translate, and yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Kathy Wood recently has been called out for selling Tesla stock, but I would like to remind that if you look at, for example, ARKQ Fund, they still have. 13.11% allocated just to Tesla stock in that particular fund. So for anyone who thinks that Kathy Wood is bearish on Tesla stock, my question is, how come she's not selling more Tesla stock right now in this particular fund? Maybe she is slightly less bullish on Tesla stock currently, but there's no denying the fact that she is still very bullish about Tesla stock. And her Tesla stock price target remains unchanged. And it also has been a little while now since she last sold more Tesla stock. I personally like this software update from Tesla. Tesla added an option to activate autopilot with a single stud depression instead of two. Every time I activate autopilot, or especially FSD in my vehicle, I feel like I'm distracting my passengers. They just look at me and wonder, what are you doing? That especially happens with passengers that have never been in a Tesla. Also for all vehicles that have a screen in the back, Tesla added rear seat Bluetooth audio support. We have new FSD beta notes for the newest update. To me, the most interesting thing is right here, improved geometric accuracy of Vision Park assist predictions by 16% by leveraging 10 times more hardware for data, tripling resolution and increasing overall stability of measurements. It's only 16% though. I'm happy it is getting better, but uh, I have heard from some people saying that it sucks. So now it still sucks, but it sucks 16% less. It's good progress, but I would like to see more. However, all the problems with Tesla's Vision Park Assist will go away once Tesla puts a camera into every Tesla in the bumper, because then you don't need a sound signal to tell you, oh yeah, you're really close to the wall now, stop. And we pretty much know that Tesla is going to do that with the Cybertruck and likely with the refresh model freeze. It's not here yet, but it will probably come later. Maybe once the Model Y also gets refreshed, I'm not sure. Here are some pictures showing Tesla's progress with this lithium refinery plant from Joe Tagmeyer. So a big shout out goes to Joe Tagmeyer on X. And uh, there is certainly some progress. It's only been a little while, but there's certainly some progress here. Oh, the National Transportation Safety Board is calling on automakers to install anti-speeding technology in all new cars and trucks following a multi-vehicle crash last year. At a minimum, they want the vehicle to at least warn the driver that the vehicle is speeding, but I think if you are going really fast, you know.